Hello, wealthy tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Loinkilo. So last episode, the last couple of episodes, we managed to retake the United Kingdom from the horrible aliens, and although they have no defensive shield right now, they're at least back, giving us money, and uh, not progressing the alien resources. Up next is South Africa, which will take... Uh, I can't see it here, maybe from engineering? Okay, we need the satellite and the skeleton key before we can retake. And then we'll need to capture... Well, we'll need to capture a couple outsiders and then work on that. Now, I was trying to think of what to spend my resources on. There's a lot of things we need to do, and I think... Probably the smartest thing is to get that next uplink going, which means I need to start another generator um, sooner than later. So I'm kind of thinking we should start an Illyrium generator. This isn't the best spot because it won't synchronize or won't synergize, but um, the Illyrium generators give you so much more power than the adjacency bonus does. You can see 35 versus 3. That all we really need is a few of these, maybe build two or three Illyrium generators, and we can destroy all the fission generators to make room for other things that we need, like, uh, well, eventually they'll have the hyperwave relay thing to build. But we'll need power for that anyway, so I think we spend a good amount of our Lyrium, our cash, and our alloys on this right off the bat. Once that's built in a long time, at the end of December, we'll probably start the next uplink. And unless I feel like demolishing something, I can't start this right now. I'd have to get rid of, like, maybe a workshop, which is a bad idea, or a lab or something. I don't think that's worth it. Um, but then we'll be able to put up three more satellites, you know... Uh, one by default, plus one from this way, and plus one from that way. That'll be three more satellites, and that will be enough. Assuming we get the, uh, the, the, the outsider shards, that'll be enough to retake North America. And at that point, I think if we can survive, this is like end of January. If we can make it that far, I think we'll be in a good position to win the campaign. On the other hand, there's a lot of things I need to, to think about upgrading in the foundry here. Ammo conservation is pretty amazing. Um, I'm thinking of using this right off the bat. This will give us always plus one ammo. I'm not sure if it counts for mechs or not. Possibly, we, possibly not. But instead of having three base ammo, it'll go up to four, which is pretty, pretty solid. We'll probably want to do tactical rigging eventually. I don't have enough melt to even consider stuff like metallurgy. Um, I know the Sparrowhawks missiles do decent damage, but it's just too much meld. I can't afford it, even though the alloys and the Illyrium aren't too bad. Um, we're kind of not using shivs much these days, although this might help. Plus, we use the Cyberdisc Rex for our dodge modules. UFO tracking, I'm still not 100% sure how worthwhile this will be. Uh, doubles the chance of detecting alien craft if you have no satellites. Kind of whoop-de-woo and detect suborbital UFOs anywhere regardless of satellite or intercept coverage. Suborbital, so... Is that low or nape of the Earth specifically? I don't know. Giving us information about anti-satellite missions. Whatever. Point is, it gives you a little bit of information. I don't think it's that important. And the salvage just gives you more um, weapon fragments, which generally aren't a problem. And nucleonics is nice, but way too much meld. So basically... I should probably get ammo conservation. The other things that we should probably upgrade is our armor. Um, I'd like to make one or two of these Aurora armors. I also would like to upgrade our mechs to tier 2. I don't really care about tier 3, but tier 2 is really solid. I think maybe I'll start one mech 2 right now. How long will this take? 8 days and we'll have one done. While this is working, we won't have a mech suit, so we'll only be able to run with uh, a single mech for eight days. I think this does use up most of our meld, but I think I think that was still the, the right answer. And then... Oh, there was one more item. I don't know if I've shown this off. I haven't built it yet, but I really should have. Illyrium turbos are great. Um, more mobility for your mechs. Specifically the mechs that are flamethrowery or punchy, that's really solid. Although if you go to tier 3 mechs, you only get one item slot, and then, I don't know, you have to pick and choose a little bit more carefully. Um, I also haven't upgraded one of each mech class yet, but uh, I think that's it. So basically what I'd like is maybe I'll start the arc thrower now. That's basically used up all of our resources. 
And I'm going to try to maybe save up for ammo conservation next. I mean, we're also going to have plasma coming along before too long. And uh, we'll want to do the super capacitor upgrade. So there's lots of stuff to spend money on. Make no mistake. But we did spend, like, almost every single credit we had. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we don't get any horrible missions. Just nice, easy missions. Psionic training. Congratulations, Smitchkin. You've, you've managed to become psionic. I feel like we're actually pretty well caught up on uh, psionic training, to be to be honest. Um, we're kind of running down to the less essential personnel now, um, but there's still lots to go, and there's lots of new recruits that haven't had a chance to uh, possibly become psionic yet. Like Maximus Kane looks like a pretty good candidate, for instance. So. I guess we'll let uh, the new version of Rathorian have a chance. I figure while we've got the Sonic Labs, we might as well keep using them. It doesn't cost anything, so... Alright, a large harvester. Our chances of shooting it down are... Well... I think pretty minimal, even with four ready to go. I'd say actually shooting it down would be incredibly, incredibly unlikely and it would be more likely that it would shoot down a couple of our guys. It might be one of the easier larges to shoot down, I can't remember. I think this is easier than a transport or a, uh, the other one, the, 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 the abductor, but I think it's still beyond our capacities at the moment. So what we do is we just say hello to it again for fun, and we kind of hope it lands actually. Um, Bangs out. The more of these kind of missions we could capture... Target now. Okay, that, no, 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 escape! I thought I clicked the that. Um, <laughs> the more of these we can actually capture, the better. So let's see if we get a mission. Contact. We do. All right, well, I'm willing to try it. If we can capture an alien base, we should be able to capture a landed large. And harvesters shouldn't have as many soldiers as a transport does, which was the one that gave us the wipe back in the day. Even capturing a transport would be the best, but, uh... Alright, well, I'm gonna pick out a squad. We'll only have one mech, uh, but I will pick out the best team I can. Probably, this'll be, like, B-team, approximately, because the A-team is probably tired. Yeah, A-team is out for a bit. Alright, back in a second. Alright, the team is ready, so we've got Lythen commanding. Captain Lythen, pretty solid infantry. This time we've got lock and load, which is pretty useful. Uh, we've got Darkshade, the medic, which is... It's got Opportunist, so you've got some nice healing and some nice uh, Overwatch abilities. Also some smoke. Looks like a pretty good uh, balance of level ups. I think I did decide this is my preferred uh, uh, medic tree so far up to that point, And a double med kit, because it's probably a longer mission than usual. Commander, you're up. You're gonna inspire us and possibly explode some uh, stuff with your grenades. I wish... I think it's... It's probably the next tier that lets you carry an extra grenade. So you'll get three grenades instead of two for your slot. I think, which would be pretty handy. We've got Cameron Richards for blowing stuff up. And again, we've got... Oh, also this was nice. Someone told me that apparently Ranger also applies not just to primary, but to your rockets as well. In which case, this is the correct choice for the all rocket build for the rocket here. Um, so I think that's good, and we are giving you a double shredder rocket because those things can sure save the day depending on the situation. We've got Draco Delacroix for our mind fraying sniper. It's nice to have a couple psionics along on the on the trip. We've got Fella McGubbin Moore, who's for a uh, resurrect has definitely promoted up quite well. And I think I just gave you the plus one ammo on its own because if you're all your extra shots. We've got Hank Flanagan, who's literally our last scout that's not injured or tired or whatever. So um, I decided to give you a little bit of armor. <laughs> I uh, I seem to get my scout shot up pretty badly lately, so I'm gonna try to keep you alive, Hank. Hopefully, hopefully you live up to your nickname and manage to not die. And finally, our single mech. We're bringing a Shogun, who's got heat ammo, so it's kind of like our anti-mech. Mech, I think is a pretty awesome skill, really. A mech that can shoot other mechanized units is pretty amazing. And collateral damage could really save the day if we need it. As well as, I believe, I gave you the old flamethrower. Thank you very much. Also, yeah, I realized that one episode I accidentally equipped 
a laser pumper onto a Gauss railgun, which probably didn't work. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Wish me luck, guys! I think a lot of this just depends on yeah, the random pod placement. Listen if uh, things go well, we should be able to clear it out without too much trouble. If things go poorly, well, it looks that's like what the reloads for, to I guess. Their ship down in a rural location outside of a small town. This is a really good opportunity as well. Um, I don't think you'll get as much meld and stuff from the base as we did from the base mission, but we could get, you know, over 50 alloys in Illyrium from this map. This okay, good off the bat. Nobody right sees any any immediate aliens. Oh, I remember this starting location. Remember this one? We lost a couple people the last time we had this layout. <laughs> Okay, um, but this time we've got a mech. <laughs> um, how do we do this? Do we start with a battle scanner? I think we might, honestly. Maybe move ha flank over... Flank Hannigan, there you go. Flank Hannigan. That's <laughs> Maybe you will do some flanking. I think we move our scout Good to go. as far forward as that. And then we toss a battle scanner. Um probably just forward into the center and we'll find out if we're going to be absolutely crushed by elites Scanner and stuff oh look there's seekers that's fine so you found the seekers by not throwing the scanner but by <laughs> but by leaning around the corner that's a lot of seekers i have to admit one two three four five six seven but if that's all there is we should be okay we could probably take them all out with a single rocket or a grenade. I don't know if that's really worth it, though. Is it worth just spending one of our precious rockets on these guys? Um, Commander, you know what? I don't generally use all of my grenades. Let's see here. You can take out... Well, you'll do as much damage as you can. If you kill them all, you kill them all. If you just damage them all, that's fine. We do get more weapon fragments by not exploding them all. That's why I don't like to use grenades all that often. This is really tricky to hit them all. Okay, hold on. That's good. Go. Sometimes it's like pixel perfect if you want to actually land it where you want. Go, Commander, go. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> That'll probably get you a promotion. You just killed like five Seekers on a single turn. All right, who else needs a kill? Let's get our uh, mech a kill. I don't want to really move forward much. So you can just Bam go to here. I mean, the battle scanner lets us know we're relatively safe. But you never know if there's something right around that corner there. All right. Might as well take the 78% chance. Look at that railgun go. I love the I love the heavy heavy weapons. Heavy weapons are great. And uh, yeah, sure, we'll use our rocket here with the low damage to take a shot here. There you go. Shredder rockets are rarely used to clear a ton of aliens unless you do that again. Most of the time, I use shredder rockets to just uh, you know apply the shredding effect to something really really strong. Okay, I'm kind of happy that. Moving to this log did not spawn another wave. I was a little bit worried. Uh, so I'm glad. I think we're off to a good start. That's uh, a lot of Seekers down right away. And I'm not too worried about not getting uh, weapon fragments. I guess we probably use their corpses for something. Now the meld... Oh. You tempt me, game. I could really use some more meld. Alright, um... We don't want to be silly, though. We're still gonna... Ah, no, we'll start with the mech. The mech is good to run forward. If anyone pops a wave, the mech is probably the best. Alright, you can see the meld. You do not see any aliens. I think we can move up to a couple of these canisters relatively safely. You know me and my relativity. People who need to reload can reload, of course. Except for the, well, maybe the mech as well, we'll see. Alright, this is very mildly risky of, of exposing a pod. I figured that was a pretty low chance. In fact, we don't really need to be worrying about cover so long as we don't expose another pod. So as long as we stay behind the mech, we should have no danger here of moving forward out in the open. So, unless you're like 
infantry who could take two shots. Um, it doesn't matter too much. Now, the other thing is your... If I move the mech forward just a few squares, next turn he could hit that meld. But I'm worried about activating a pod right now, so no. That's too dangerous for me. Also, our sniper can stay back here for, for now. And we'll let our engineer move up. Should be safe enough for the turn. And then eight Muton elites patrol into us. Okay, we do know the closest alien is inside the loading bay here. So, the option here is... I really, really would like to get some meld. So I want to move the mech close enough that next turn we can get it, assuming there's no aliens right down here. If that meant the aliens were up here or back here, then we're fine. If the aliens are in this area, we're not going to be able to get the meld, probably. So I want to find out right now. Okay, it's looking, it's looking feasible. Mark will be able to reach that next turn. Okay, we'll, we'll move now. our scout up a little closer, too. Alright, that's fine. Good to know, good to know. So now, I can reasonably safely dash people up to around here without having too much danger. Yeah, that's what yes, I'm gonna command. do. We're, we're actually gonna go on Overwatch just standing out in the open, and we can take cover next turn if we need it. I'm on the move. So if anything patrols into us, we might get a couple shots to weak, weaken them a little bit, and failing that, uh, we can run back. Not that there's very good cover here. The, one of the reasons I'm kind of rushing forward like this is the sooner we can get into the ship, sort of the better full cover positions and options we'll, we'll end up with. Exactly, Cameron Richards. Sounded very pre-Russian, to be honest. And we'll move our sniper over to maybe have a better angle, depending on how the inside of the UFO goes. And then Overwatch. Alright. Advanced fire control, right. I should remember that. Our mech does have a better... Overwatch shot than the average person. Oh, come on! How are you supposed to even make it there in time? The only way we could have made that is if we just dashed forward on the first turn, basically. Man. This is why the meld, in my opinion, is unbalanced in Long War. There's too many really impossible suicidal meld canisters where the only way you get them is if you basically suicide somebody. And... You know, that one probably would have only given us like three meld anyway, so it's barely worth the risk. It's, it's, it's important, we need it, but when we need like 50 meld per okay. upgrade right now, 40 meld per suit of mech, we need... Eventually we'll need 40 meld per um, firestorm, or 40 or 50, whatever the number is. You know, we're, we're going to need a ton of that stuff. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meld, basically. On my way. And we can barely get three because that disappeared before we can get to it. It's pretty rude. I mean, we did get, what was it, 50 or so from the base assault? Enough for basically one upgrade. That's pretty pretty harsh when one giant mission like that is enough for only one meld, real meld upgrade. Some things only cost 10. Some weapons cost 10 or less, you know, that's fine, but the big stuff is just so expensive. Alright, aliens that way, aliens that way, that's what we know so far. Now, they could be on the roof here as well. It doesn't happen all that often, but in Long War, I've definitely seen them on the roof a couple times. And, uh, we happen to have one of the mechs that can jump right up there if I so desire. It's possible that's where the meld was, I don't know for sure would be kind of annoying, to be honest, if the meld was up on the roof. Alright, how do we do this? I think we just stick with the left side. I'd rather just deal with whatever's over here first. We're probably not going to get any other of the meld anyway, so... Don't get your hopes up. Alright, we're going to move... We'll do a dash here. I don't think you'll be able to see anything through the door. So, we should be safe. And I... Oh, the infantry can't quite make it. Well, you can move to here. Ah, I just want to be smart. Just want to be smart about uh, activations and stuff. Scout is super quick. I'll probably want to move the scout Heading up out. to the higher ground, actually, thanks to his amazing mobility. 
Есть And на rockets, you can hang out back Поехали. here. Mm, Overwatch, Готовность I suppose. Sniper's fine for now. Engineer, you can go hang out at the door. I already used one of your grenades, but maybe you can capture something now. And then the medic. To be honest, full cover without any line of sight is pretty safe. Alright, what do we get? Give me some. Okay, well let's open this door, and we might see some enemies, you never know. Yeah, what do we see? Let me let that? me see, guys. Enemies in sight. Please let me see. That's uh, a mechtoid, or maybe a cyber disc. Weird how that activated through a door. It feels like some of the pods are getting weirdly split up. Like there must have been a drone in this room connected in the same pod to like a cyber disc out there. I I think it's a cyber disc. I hope it's a cyber disc. If it's the other thing that comes with drones, we're going to have some interesting uh, times coming soon. Uh, I am going to put the mech... Do I want vision up here? I don't know. How do I want to do this? Well, seeing as Lythan's got a shot from back here, I figure... That's not a very good damage shot, but... You can have twice at it. There you go. Good work, Lythan. And then you can see that drone and a drone behind it. I don't believe we have drone capture yet. There is a, an option for, for uh, an engineer to actually capture them. Or I suppose anyone with a, uh, with a, whatever they're called, you know, things. <laughs> Arc thrower. We shoot the one that's further back if possible. Killing it if possible. Of course we leave it with one HP. Good. And then we see if Commander feels like killing it. He felt he felt good about it. Alright, I don't really want to run in there um, at all. There is some more full cover, but right now we're staying back here. So I want to put someone else on the doorway. Uh, the scout seems reasonable. That's how I get my scouts killed, always. It's reasonable to have them up front, right? 60%. Two damage, wow. Yeah, these uh, these uh, drones are starting to get a lot of damage reduction. My laser weapons are not keeping up with the drones right now. And of course you miss. Anybody else? Um, rockets, holds off. Medic stays back for now. We killed two drones, right? Two out of however many. You could only see three, but... The drones aren't that scary. There you go! Overwatch shotgun did the job. Alright, well... The meld canisters continue to be far out of reach. I think we put the mech up here now and have a look to see what fun things we can find up there. Nothing yet. Maybe we just wait on Overwatch for a turn or two here. And, uh... Lythan can reload and overwatch on the same turn. Pretty amazing talent. Alright. What do we get? Another drone. Well, finish these drones up if possible. Or just blow open the door. That's, that's cool. Mechs love blowing stuff up. Especially Shoguns. Okay. What she said. And uh, I guess you just get to keep shooting at it. 78% chance. There you go, 12 damage. Heat ammo, oh, so good. <laughs> Let's just hold off again. I want to reload the mech now before we move forward. Or just continue killing drones, that's... Or mildly damaging them just a little bit. <laughs> Two damage. We're also getting really low rolls on our damage, because laser weapons usually do more than four altogether. I lost another meld canister, but are you really surprised? And uh, what else do we got here? I've got a mosquito trying to eat me while I talk. I'm sorry guys if I'm distracted. <laughs> this is a mosquito buzzing outside of my field of vision. Um, I think... Let's now? pull Commander a little bit out of the way. And I'd rather have the double-shot infantry on the line. 
Did I not bring a gunner this time? Is that what I is that what I skipped? It's killing time. I, I wasn't really paying. Oh, good. Lock and load on the sniper. It's reload and steady weapon. Um. Yeah, I guess I feel like I've got every class except gunner. So that's okay. But uh, I do like gunners. I suppose, actually, maybe I was thinking, because I've got a mech with heat ammo, that does kind of replace what I usually use uh, gunners for a lot of the time. Let's just move forward a little bit here. Because I know there's something big out this way, or maybe possibly down there. It's also, remember, we did get the sound ping from this direction at some point, so... You know, at some point we could be patrolled into by somebody else if we're unlucky. You can make it to move. full cover up here, Lythen. Very good. On Overwatch. And how do we do this? Scout, a little Heading bit less secure. Eyes peeled, Commander. And then we move maybe the assault. To here, I guess. I could go up this uh, ramp here. But that's more risky of popping another pod, in my opinion, so... I'm not. Let's, uh... Push up our snipers and rocketeers to the doorway. Maybe I'll put one more person up on the top. Yeah, Commander, you can go up top. It's only half cover, but lots of people have half cover, so... It's nothing that unusual. Okay. And that should be a decent position for... Oh, nice backwards run there. You got some moves! Should be playing, uh, I don't know, football or guess or whatever people call football in other parts of the world. American football. Um, I want to see what's over there. I just don't want to push forward too much. You can always pull back, Mark. Oh, look, there's Meld. Oh, could we get it? That's one, two, three squares away. I'm worried about going around that corner without backup. This meld at least lasted a long time. I, I don't even really... I, I hate coming through... I don't know why I decided to come through this low section. I hate coming through this I'm section. I, every time I do it, I hate it. It's a horrible it idea. Roger that. Scanning. I, this happens to me every time. I prefer the high ground so much more. It's still half cover, but at least you can see... We'll move a couple people to half cover instead. Or to high ground instead. Sniper in a pretty solid position. If anything does come at us, we're okay. Ha! Huh. I don't know what that was, but that was over there. Alright, that meld's not gone, so we're gonna move like enough squares that we could get it next turn. And then run away. If it's still there. You watch, it will disappear again the turn I'm ready to get it. I would so not be surprised. We definitely activated something. I wonder if I should use my last battle scanner. Maybe next turn I toss a battle scanner over here to see what I can see. Because I don't really like moving these guys up there until I know. Or over here, or anywhere, really. There is a drone somewhere, too. I think I heard a sectoid. I think I've heard a sectoid in the background, and... Oh, yeah, it is a cyber disc. There you go. Well, the cyber disc ran into the wrong mech. I can pretty much guarantee that. So, uh, yeah, it's almost dead in one hit. Assuming the meld... Doesn't leave. Damn it, game! It's doing this on purpose. Always one turn too slow. So bad. Alright, well. All we've activated is a cyber disc and a drone. Ah, good luck, Mark. Please finish that cyber disc off. And don't find anything else. Well, okay, a drone is fine. But just kill this thing. We get no meld, but at least we'll, we'll deal with the dangerous thing. Nice explosion. Alright. There's nothing too risky about moving up to, like, here, then. There is that drone, but drones, you know, whatever. You can't be afraid of drones. 
If you're afraid of drones, you'll never get anywhere in life. I guess in real life, drones are a little bit more scary. <laughs> Autonomous drones that can drop bombs on you, or just crash into you with giant payloads. Yeah, okay, real life drones might be scarier than this version of the game's drones. Oh! Well, that's a crazy shot. I did, n did not expect you to have a shot there. You didn't even quite kill it, but... Maybe you could have hit the cyber disc, actually. That's That would have been funny. I'd say that was a... Kind of a lucky angle that we could see that. And... Overwatch. 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 One little... Two little drones. One little, two little, three little drones. <laughs> You didn't even shoot at the mech. He's not even trying. <laughs> it's not even trying. Well, you know what? Draco, seeing as these drones keep having line of sight for you, you might as well kill them. Alright, now. Let's put our mech here and find out if there's a bunch of aliens we're about to die to before we run up. And it's uh, a couple commanders, a couple outsiders. It would be nice to capture an outsider. Mostly just baby sectoids, though. So we got two commanders and an outsider. So what's the best positioning we can do here? Honestly, uh, this... Oh, he does get cover. I thought he would not have cover, but he does after all. I was thinking we could just saddle up up here and just take him out, but... Um, we're not in a horrible position for this pod. If I could select people. Alright. Medic. Commander. I think I might use you to try to blow up his uh, cover there, honestly. If we could guaranteed kill one commander, that would ease up the risk of mind control a fair bit. So we're going to move you over and have you toss a grenade. We are going to blow up some of our alien... Uh, stasis or whatever you call it um a surgeries or stasis or something which costs us a little bit of money or we lose a little bit of possible money but that guy's basically dead i don't think he's really got any chance now we'll use our medic to move over and take a shot which seems fair to me still only 61 percent with no cover that's disappointing but it was a good hit oh that was a great hit Oh, could we capture it? Oh, with one HP, that's so perfect. Ah. Uh, the problem is we've got, like, no way to disable it. Now, also, no one is flanked yet. So I don't have to worry about that just at the moment. The mech might take a fair bit of damage here if I left him here. So it's probably smart to pull the mech out of sight. Maybe here is out of sight, a little bit closer to the group. And next turn he can run in and maybe flamethrower if needed. Um, see, now I don't really want to move people up here because catching that commander would be great. That would be pretty amazing. I don't know if it's... is it feasible though? I, lo I should have saved the mech move for last, because then I could see what was going on. Putting someone right there would be decent. Um, it's a dash, though, unfortunately. But at least then no one's going to pop over that corner here and shoot down on you. It'd be very difficult to be flanked from this position. And full cover, I mean, we're not fighting, like, elites. These guys still won't do tons of damage. They'll do some, but... I think we've got decent odds. They won't have grenades or anything. Um, Flanagan's pretty speedy. I think this spot is fine. You might have a shot probably on the guy that we are about to kill. No. You might be able to flash... No, I'm not quite enough right now. I was thinking you might be able to flash the outsider. But... I don't even know if I want to leave people on Overwatch because I would so love to catch that guy. Got to catch them all, right? Um, for now, let's just move Fella up here. Luckily, there's no worry about grenades, so we're fine. And Cameron, are you the last one? Yeah. 
What do we do with you? I don't want you to get surprise flanked. Oh no, I forgot to... The sniper right at the back. Um... It doesn't really feel like you can get anywhere super useful right now. So why don't you pull back here and just hunker. And uh, we'll just end turn. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm not super happy about uh, our positioning, but I think we'll be okay. And I'd really love to catch both. I'd like to catch the Outsider and the Sectoid Commander. Now, Sandless has had his mind... Or not Sandless, the other infantry. <laughs> Lythen has had his mind frayed, which is disappointing. That guy runs away, so he's probably not going to be up to too much. Oh man, catching that guy would be such a... such a... such a win. Because we still need a Sectoid Commander. And then we need more Outsider Shards, but... I think what we really need to start doing that safely is, uh... Psy Panic. Okay, that's relatively low risk. Alright, full heal, so the grenade's already recovered. How do we do this then? Um, Commander is not going to have enough mobility this turn. Um, we can run down and flamethrow them. I think that's the way to do this, honestly. Let's get these two disabled. I can actually see... Yeah, this, this guy, I think... He's uh, mind-melding the normal sectoids, the guys that we really don't care about. So let's deal with these two. Let's try to kill this sectoid commander if possible. Um, unfortunately, the the outsider does automatically regenerate, which is kind of annoying. I'm thinking, regardless of the action, we're going to dash commander up to here. Good cover, hopefully close enough to catch something. Of course, one of the normal outside or one of the normal sectoids is on Overwatch, but they can't shoot very well, guys. They're no good. Two of them. Okay, there's more sectoids grouped here than I expected. But we got to catch some stuff. At the very least, we got to catch one of these guys, right? Okay, so we can see where everything is now. That kind of helps. Yeah, you know what? Lythen, even though you're mind frayed, if you could kill that commander. <laughs> yeah, 81%. Okay, if you miss two 80%, then I've been your fire. That's okay. Alright, so mind control is down to one almost dead sectoid commander. Uh, I might be smarter to just take out the outsider right now. Um. Probably that is the wise decision. The wise man decision. Where's my uh, scout? Yeah, scout's got good mobility. Not enough to get into good cover though. And obviously this little uh, section is really bad cover. <laughs> Turns out our positioning is no longer super amazing. It's no longer super effective. So we'll move you to full cover. Next turn you might be able to kill some sectoids. Our medic... Is half cover enough to be relatively safe from normal sectoids? Probably. Probably is the answer. We could also use Psy Inspiration on uh, Lythen to remove Mind Frame. You know what? I actually like this. Let's have uh, Flanagan flank again from the side, way over here. Next turn, he'll be in a good position. Oh, or not. <laughs> Alright, and then um, the characters that are too far away to have a shot. We'll try to get our sniper into possibly a spot for next turn shooting. If I can click where I want to click. Roger, Dodger. You might have squad sight across. Mm, possibly. And I'm just kind of spreading out, I think. Not that we need to spread out specifically, but uh, it's less likely they'll try to run in and flank us if uh, they're scared of us. And our, our rockets haven't had a chance. I know that hallway would be a really good spot for a rocket right now, right in there, but didn't have time. 
Alright. One sectoid hops down into a spot where you should have no line of sight. Or at least very little. Full cover. Yeah, come on. Come on now. Who do you think I am? The commander runs even further away. Continues to just mind meld. Not the most dangerous of things. Pretty, pretty weak. Drone flies off. Sectoid is a flank? Oh, come on! And then you... Even though you... Sides. I don't understand how the alien AI works sometimes. They had a, a garbage flank shot, which shouldn't have been a flank shot, and then they didn't take it anyway. They are really trying to mess with uh, Commander. Little do they know that he's actually pretty psionic himself, so... It hasn't worked out very well. That's two mind phrase failed in a row. Alright, regenerates 4 HP. Okay, so, next question. Can... No, Commander still cannot get into range to catch anything. It's disappointing. Sniper. You can see that guy, the Commander. Oh, well, two of them are not Commanders. That's the Commander. That's a Sectoid. That's a Sectoid. Is there any of them? Yeah, one of them's on Overwatch. I think we take the shot on the one that's on Overwatch. This guy, furthest to the right. It's not a great odds, but you did manage to hit it anyway. I don't know what we're doing with Commander yet. Um, Flanagan, though, isn't super safe, unfortunately. It's flanking because it's on the same, act, same uh, vertical line here. But it's dumb because he has to move over a square to shoot, which is no longer, or should no longer be considered a flank. It's one of those little quirks of the system. <sighs> it sure would be nice to catch some of this stuff, rather than miss our chance. I know there's still a drone out there, but it might be worth just popping Flanagan over here just to kill the, uh, the drone is actually, I think, right beside the sectoid. Mark Spector, you've got another flamethrower attempt, too. I think we let yeah, Mark try to kill the flanking sectoid. We'll see what happens after the shot. 57, it's not very good. There's actually just one drone out there. Well, take it. Oh, it looks good! Alright, that frees up Flanagan a lot more. In fact, now I might just use Flanagan to kill that drone safely. And then all of those will be flanked. Now, one of the risks here is if we go out here, there could be another pod, which would be disappointing. So I think we just put you... Hmm. I have to also decide what I'm going to do about capturing these guys, because I haven't decided yet. Having a very difficult time getting anyone close enough to the people are well anyone anyway, I'm having a difficult time getting the commander close enough to actually catch anything um, we flamethrowered this guy last turn so he's got one more turn of panic so I could move commander close enough so that next turn he could try to capture this guy unfortunately there's also very little cover around there so if I go that route we're gonna want to try to make sure Moving he's protected oh overwatch I didn't get line of sight anyway so in that case, in that case, let's move our Rocketeer up here. Oh, this time the Overwatch triggered. Still long range, right? You're fine. These Sectoids, they can't hit anything, right? Just keep saying that. Um, Hold on, hold on. Can you get where I wanted you to? I was thinking put you right on this doorway. Oh, you can't quite make it. That's disappointing. I can put you on this entrance. There's a lot of shots that could probably flank you on the way back. Okay, okay. let's do it. Hopefully we don't trigger another pod. It's fine. Kill this drone. So far, so good. No longer a threat. Uh, Lythen is still hallucinating. Because we never bothered to heal him from that. You know, 
Let's just do it. <laughs> Quit messing around. I maybe should have done this last turn, but I didn't need to, so I didn't. And then Lythen is gonna... I don't know what Lythen's gonna do. We just reload. Ready to rock. And just hold off. Someone's gonna have to shoot that uh, outsider before we can uh, before we can take it home. <laughs> I wish Fella could get right to this doorway, because I'd be willing to stand in the doorway and kill one of those guys. I'd be willing to. I don't know about you. Um, I guess we just end turn. Let's see what happens. So he panicked. He's got one more turn of... That's his last turn of panic, I believe. These guys are panicking themselves, basically. He's still going to try that. Oh, you managed to side panic. Okay. Well, you hunkered down. Now good luck shooting him. Oh, good. You come closer. Come closer so I can... Uh... Oh, don't use mind control. Dang it! Now we have to kill that guy. And unless... We're lucky enough that uh, Commander has. Um, I don't. I, there's no way he's gonna have the mobility to get there. We're gonna have to try to catch the outsider, which is dependent on not killing him with this shot here, not that shot. <laughs> now, now we're having a hard time getting a good shot. That will definitely kill him. It is. Uh, Dark Shade? So how- wait a second, now how am I gonna kill that commander over there? We're gonna have to rely on Mark Specter, I guess. I guess we can flamethrower it to guarantee a kill. We're not gonna be able to catch it, it's- there's no way, and this guarantees the mind control is broken. I'm not willing to risk the low percent chance. And that actually chain killed something too. Maybe even a couple somethings, so that doesn't hurt. Alright, so we need to take a shot with a medic. I don't think the crit will kill it, even if you hit the crit. Kinda wish I could move you a little bit closer to get better odds on the hit, but... Alright, we got him down to five. That's not great. What if we switch to pistol here? 73% to hit. I am worried though because if it does a crit, which is 80% chance, it'll do more than 4 damage. Oh, I just want to bring something home, guys. That's all. Sandless, or Lythen, sorry, I keep, I'm calling you the wrong name. He's only got a pistol, so. We're going to just do it like this. 72%. Oh, come on! You critically killed him with a pistol? Shh. <laughs> so all of our trouble, I did not catch a single alien there. We had to kill the commander because we had a mind controlled unit. Okay, there's still one left, I thought so. But we were unable to catch... So basically... <laughs> I really... You know, I tried that. I, I tried to do it. Yeah, well, you can't win all the shots. Um... Because the mech's in the way, we're unable to get a, uh, a run-and-gun here, unfortunately. So it doesn't really matter too much where we put Fella. Let's put him up here, I guess. Oh, I should probably switch you to your other... Still got his shotgun, or his pistol equipped. Well, I don't really feel like it's worth the effort to capture one of these guys. I mean, the, the alien pistols are useful for a couple things. But I don't think it's really worth our trouble. Alright, well, you know, no one died, nothing bad happened, we just didn't, we just were unsuccessful in capturing. If that's the worst thing that could happen, it's not too bad. I'm kind of getting annoyed with all this panicking, to be honest. Zero percent? The heck is that? So we got a lot of panic. Very, very much. It's getting annoying. I had to reload there. And then, uh, unfortunately, it's too far away to mine fray. So you just steady, I guess. <sighs> I'm I'm unhappy with the way this has turned out. Oh, of course, the fire's blocking that path, so... 
Let's just move Mark over and try to kill this guy out from a little bit closer. 51, not great. Good enough. Alright, I'm kind of hoping now that this is the last pod after all. And then we're about to end this episode. <laughs> or mission specifically. <laughs> I feel like that was a lot of work for not a whole lot of gain with all of the trying to capture. What we really need is an engineer uh, with more mobility. Because arc throwers, they weigh, they weigh double. That was, it. So that was pretty easy, honestly. That was uh, just a harvester. That was... I could do that a few times, right? That was no problem. I'm surprised. I'm I'm upset we didn't capture anything, but on the other hand, I'm also upset we got no level ups. But uh, you know, I'm happy how it worked out. Another batch of alloys in Illyrium. Uh, no meld at all because the game's a jerk. But we can sell some damage stuff. You know, it's not bad. I I mean, still, I'm happy that we had a nice mission like that. So. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I wish we'd count we'd caught one, but uh There's no way the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've caught we've got an elite. I will want to do this before we do the next the tier end. of pulse lasers though. We have no choice now but to take it further. Yeah, autopsy that. We have to find their remaining Plasma. ships and finish what they started. We'll need one more ethereal corpse. I think we don't have enough Illyrium. We did get some more juice though. Um so, no meld, or very little meld, but a fair bit more alloys. We probably don't have enough money for the next project, uh, which was ammo conservation. So, unless I can sell 330 worth of uh, gray market, or pending requests... No, both of these would be a mistake. We need these for ammo conservation, we need these for tactical rigging. So, those are bad requests. Gray market, what would we sell? I mean... At some point, we switch from laser to pulse, we can sell our laser weapons, eventually. Um, I really shouldn't be selling alien weapons. Um, we have a lot of sectoid corpses. I don't think I can get enough money right now, but I'll give it a small try. I'll save like 20 of these things, we got a lot. Floater corpses are for aim modules, I believe. We need the mutons. We don't really need the Berserkers unless you want to make combat stims. And they're worth a little bit more money. Um, cyber discs are important. Ethereals we need. Chrysalids, turns out I don't really care. They're nice for maybe the occasional uh, council request. But heating up out there. I'm trying to get money. Tracking multiple unidentified targets. So this was for our shivs. I haven't given up on shivs completely, but I mean 30 bucks. I am going to keep the laser pumper. Lots of weapon fragments. Can't sell the melds. I decided I only need 12 of these things. Um, by counting. Oh, we don't need the laser lance. We've got two rail guns. We're not going to have three mechs. There's no way we can afford it. Um, we're not selling the mechs. And we're not selling the laser weapons yet. So that's close to enough money. We needed... How much did I need? I mean, I don't need to start this today, but, you know, the sooner we get it, the better. Let's just see what the next mission is, and uh, we'll call that for the episode. Contact. Small fighter. Well, this is our chance to get a nice, easy mission. I think we'll take... Not a complete rookie, but a only six kill guy. Go on defensive and try to shoot it down safely. We do have advanced repairs now, I'm pretty sure, Engaging so our ships will repair considerably quicker than they used to. Closing on but, you never know. Come on, shoot it down! Come on! Contact well, we didn't take a lot of damage, but we didn't shoot it down. So let's try again. Detected. Now we'll try with the new guy. We'll get the new guy on balance. I mean, you gotta get killed somewhere. Now that it's probably almost dead. We're in pursuit. And we'll use balance specifically because it's got no experience. Nearing strike range. It only took one shot. That's perfect. Okay, well we got a nice easy mission for next episode. I'm happy. So we'll take uh, maybe not full rookies because it's suicide. Because even as like there'll probably only be you know nine or ten aliens on that craft. But strictly speaking, they could be elites if we're unlucky. So we can't bring all rookies or it's just a wipe, and that's no good. So uh, yeah. That was a 
long episode for a large. I think it went better than I expected, so I'm happy. We're also getting a lot of missions real quick this month. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.